In this lesson, we're going to start modeling the cap of the beer bottle. Okay, so in lesson three start, we have our beer bottle. And there's just a minor change I want to make to the overall proportions of this bottle. I'm not completely happy with it. I just want to have a bit of a fatter looking one here. So I'm just going to see if I can fatten it out there. Just kind of increase the scale a little bit. Just so you have an overall, just a heavier looking bottle. The other one seemed a little bit skinny. I'm also going to just uh, measure this up and get this down to proper scale. So I'm going to say this one's about, uh, about 10 inches. Maybe a bit more. I'm going to specify the, uh, the length here and just put 10 in there. And this tape measure will tell me how tall this beer bottle should be. So it should only be this tall altogether. So I'm going to take our beer bottle, just move it over there and scale it down. Try and get it close to the size here. And there's no real reason to this. It just helps the measurements later on when adjusting some of the uh, materials that go on this, such as the max distance of the, the thickness and stuff like that. Actually, I should have this beer ball still a little bit thin there. Okay, so that's pretty close. And that's relatively close there. So we can just right click on our move tool and just right click on each of those and that will center it up perfectly to the world. And just move it up so it's just sitting on the top of the grid. And uh, we're not going to need that viewport image anymore. So we can just go ahead and uh, display back, turn off display background by going into our viewport background. Okay, and last but not least, we need to uh, reset our X forms on this so that the object has no scaling or rotation information tied to it. So before we do that, we'll just turn off our mesh smooth because it, we're going to get a modifier on there that we're going to want to collapse the stack. And if mesh smooth is on there, then we're going to be, it's going to bake itself into the model. We don't want that. So over in our utilities panel, we're just going to go down to reset X form, reset selected. And as you can see, we have some tied to it there. We'll just collapse that, rotate it back. Looks like we have a point or something lost out here in space. I'm not too sure why I did that. But that's why we reset our X forms, because so that way we can have a clean mesh tied back to it. We'll just center that back up. We're going to have to scale this down one more time. Hopefully this time that won't happen. Alright, I'm also going to center my pivot on this. And then we'll right click, center this all back up to 0, 0, 0. We'll also move this back up to space, so sitting on the grid. Okay, great. Now let's try that reset X form one more time. Alright, great. That will remove any kind of rotation or transformations tied to it. And now we can put our mesh smooth modifier back on there. So you can see how important resetting the X forms on the object is. It doesn't seem like the object is broke, but once you start rigging or having start using the object for some kind of animation or def deformations, the tra hidden transforms on the model can really break it. So it's always good just to have a clean scene and just reset all the X forms on your objects. So at this point, we're finally ready to start modeling the cap. So we're going to get a cylinder here. I'm not really making this to proportions right now. I'm going to set our height segments down to about 3. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to start eyeballing this one. So I'm going to vert this into an edible poly. And I'm going to scale this down. And I chose 18 segments around. Let's grow that out. I think our cap's going to look something like that. Maybe this is a bit high. Okay. I'm also going to inset this face here. I'm going to convert this poly or face selection into vertices. And then I'm going to merge that all together. Weld this right. Just bring that up a little bit. Uh, for this bottom face down here, we're not going to need it because we're going to put a shell modifier on this in a little bit. Now, what we do need to do is we bring up our image again 
you see that there's these little teeth on this model. So they kind of insets here with these little teeth, and that's where the machine took the metal and just clamped it right onto the bottle. So we need to model each of those little grooves there. So the best way to do that is to select all these bottom vertices. And we need to chamfer them. I'll bring out some teeth in the model. Okay, so we'll chamfer those. And what I'm going to do is go to the top view of this model. And I'm actually going to cut it in half. And we'll do a symmetry modifier on this later. This way we only have to work with so many of the teeth. And I'll actually do another edge here. So we only have to work with even less of them. Now there are some scripts out there that will allow you to use a, a radial radial symmetry modifier. However, it's not built into 3D Studio Max. And I don't want people uh, running around trying to find scripts so they can follow along. So we're just going to do this and we'll just run the symmetry modifier twice. Alright, so now that that's cut in half, let's go to the top view here and delete that. Okay. So what we need to do is get an edge going down on each of these. So we'll grab our cut tool. We'll bring this down one. This one down one. As well this one. And this one. And now this one over here doesn't have a face, so we're going to have to make one for it. So we'll bring it across. I'm just going to target weld that vertice back to the top. So let me find target weld here. I'm going to grab this vertice and I want to send it back to this one. Okay, so next what we need to do is grab all the bottom edges. So I'll just go to my top view here. I'm just going to select all the bottom ones and then hold Alt to select anything that I grabbed that I didn't want to. And I'm going to pull this down. Okay. So at this point, I want to take each of these faces here, and we want to extrude these inwards. Like so. Maybe even scale them down a little bit. All right, and all those faces that came from the bottom, we're just going to go ahead and delete those. We'll delete this one on the side as well. Okay, so for all these uh, edges that are right along the outside here for the teeth, you just grab each of those. I'm just going to scale them out here. Okay, for each of those teeth, we're just going to pull them out of the body a little bit here. It's not going to be perfect on all of them. Some of them are not going to go in the right direction here. If you want, you can just go in and by hand move them individually just so they come out perfectly away from the, the center of the cap. This one's going to want to go flush because it's going to be uh, symmetry all the way around. Okay, great. And if you want, you can throw a mesh smooth on there to see what this is going to look like. Okay, if we just up the segments on there, you can see that it's... We kind of get that teeth look going on there. So now we just need to get this uh, symmetry over and one more time. And uh, we're actually going to stop here, and I will do the symmetry and clean up this geometry in the next lesson.